Hello everybody, Mobius1 here bringing you another Star Wars Galaxies emulator episode. Uh, this week we are still continuing Jabba's theme park. We're on the third NPC in the quest line, Ephant Mon, and he wants us to destroy some of Lady Valerian's thugs. So let's get out there and do it. Uh, you will notice I am still unbuffed. I'm not saying that to brag or anything. It's not exactly difficult. I'm just showing you that as long as you, you know, are a decent way through an elite combat profession and uh, have some decent kinetic resistance armor, you should not have any problems at all doing this. Thugs! Oh no, wait, wait, wait! Can't have that. I'm sorry. No music. I don't want to get- I don't want YouTube to yell at me! Alright, so return to Jabba's palace for your reward. Oops, forgot one. What are you doing hiding under there? You sneaky devil. Why can't I loot you? Whoops. Must be lagging. And we return. Hello, Ethan Mon. I hear you took care of our little problem. Jabba's clients will be glad to, to hear it. Good job, perhaps. You come back to me even in the future for future assignments. Uh, you back. Good job. Jabba wants revenge against Valerian. You're going to find and punish one of her couriers. You want to do this small favor for Jabba? Sure. So kill the courier who's making a delivery for Lady, Re Lady Valerian. Retrieve anything important. So it's another go kill this person, and then we probably have to loot them. So, go, go, super editing time. No, more thugs. Oh, the courier survived. Not today. Not today. So what's he have? You looted a corrupt data disk. I guess that's what we're after. So let's bring it back. Okay, okay, we're here. Ethan Mon. Aha, we've received 550 credits. Huh, we have a bit we have a problem with the stolen ledger. Bib Fortuna can't make a snout can't make snout nor stump of the ledger's code again, but Jabba has a code slicer in his pocket. Jabba wants you to take the ledger to this slicer, Sarad Far. You gonna take this assignment? Sure. Deliver the ledger to Sarad Far. Bib Fortuna will view this as a personal favor. Okay. So make sure we have it. Yep, we have corrupt. Oh wait, ledger. Yep. All right. It's just a regular ledger. It's not a Heath ledger. And super speed, go. Uh, 
I see you, Sarad Far. That's the ledger. That was a snap. Okay. Well, that was none. Or that was it. I don't know what he's doing out here. But now we go back. And hopefully this is the last thing we need to do for even Mon. I don't actually remember. Uh, try Porcelus, he may have some work. Yeah, okay. So now we can actually go a little bit deeper. Can we actually get into the throne room? No, we can't actually get into the throne room yet. I think this guy, Porcelus, though, is the chef. So if I go this way... should be... no, I think this is the wrong way. No, this is a dead end. It's the other way. I'm looking for the kitchen. Again, this place is like a maze. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yes, yes. You just might be the person I'm looking for. I'm Porcelis, cook extraordinaire, chef to senators and royals alike, and now... Ah, slave to Jabba. Jabba has requested a meal more exotic than his usual fare, and I have just the idea. Would you gather some special meat for me? Sure. Alright, so we have to destroy the cadu that is being delivered. Okay. I guess Jabba has a taste for Nabooian delicacies. That's the only thing about this theme park that really kind of sucks, is the further into the theme park you go, the more you have to run back and forth in and out of the palace. So it actually takes more time the further in you get, but uh, again, super editing speed, go! Okay, so there's the Cadu. Looks like the Cadu's got some escorts. We'll take care of them. Boom! Oh, I got a palm frond. Boom! Ooh, petrified avian egg. I'll take that. And I can harvest it. If I wanted to. You don't have to. But actually, here's one of those quests now that if I wanted to keep getting more petrified avian eggs, this is, this is a good example of a quest you might want to do multiple times. So I could just stick that petrified avian egg in a backpack like I did in, the, in last week's video with the transponder, and then I can just tell the quest giver that I failed the test or failed the quest and I can do it again and get another one. Okay. Mmm, cadu meat ex exudes such a wonderful aroma, wouldn't you say? Alright, alright, alright. Since Jabba loved his cadu crunchies, he now wants to feast upon a rare beastie here on Tatooine. He sent scouts to find that oh-so-elusive meat beast. Word came back that one of the scouts spotted the meat beast, but is being studied by some official-looking veterinarian, whatever that is. Take down the vet and see if he has the location of the creature. Alright. So we have to kill the vet and the vet's bodyguards 
to find the location of the meat beast. There they are! I see them! Veterinarian and bodyguards. And, oh wow, okay, so Veterinarian has a little bit more health, but still not that difficult. Looted a data pad. Return to Java's Palace. Yeah, the data pad actually doesn't have anything to do with the quest. Oh, but look! I got a poster. Probably from Ephant Mon. When I finished that quest. Okay, brought the data pad back. Oh, so that data pad was part of the quest. Alright, so now we're gonna go get the meat beast. Okay, so it looks like the Meat Beast is a Dewback. And he is a little bit tougher. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so this one actually took a couple hits. Oh shoot, I ran out of action. So I would say this Meat Beast is probably, and you, ha you definitely have to loot it. You have to loot it for the chicken leg. Um, this Meat Beast is probably the first... The first part of Jabba's Theme Park that if you don't have a uh, hard-hitting skill or you don't have a decent set of armor or buffs, you may have difficulty with. But it was, it's still pretty easy. I mean, as long as you're, you're halfway, or not necessarily halfway, but you have some skills in an elite profession, you should still be able to handle that yourself. But um, this might be the first speed bump that you run into if you're trying to do this with just a uh, starting profession. Okay, so this should be the last quest we do for the cook. Let's watch our inventory. Yep, we got a... Oh, a schematic! Crafter's apron! Very cool. Alright. So, yeah, that was it. So now we have to talk to Barada, whose location I am not sure. So if any time you don't know where someone is, you always want to use the slash target command or slash tar. So I'm going to type tar bar. And there he is, way over there. So I still can't go into the throne room, but I think now I can go this way. Yep. So I think Barada is... Yeah, he's in the, the vehicle garage. It's all the way at the end of this hallway. Yep, we have our... Speeder Garage. Hey you, I heard you've been doing favors for Jabba's cronies. Maybe you can help me, huh? I got a plan to earn my freedom from Jabba, but first I need to grab a special code cylinder from one of the Valerian's thugs. You think you can get that cylinder for me? Sure.
Alright. So this Valerian mercenary is actually conning yellow to me. So yeah, alright, he's pretty tough. You would definitely need to be pretty experienced in an elite profession to be able to take this guy out on your own. So we got the code cylinder. Now we need to deliver the code cylinder. Now we talk to you, and that was it. Okay, so we talk to him again, get 950 credits, and now we have one final quest to do. Well, for Barada. Here we go. Use the self-destruct terminal to, yes, stuff. Alrighty, we have a bunker here with some thugs. Oh, the thugs are aggroed. No! We're going to kill you! Easy enough. But that's not the mission this time. We actually have to go inside. And there's a terminal in here somewhere. Not that one. Oh, right here. Uplink terminal. Self-destruct. Whoops. Set it for 15 seconds. I don't know if it actually blows up. I think... Oh! Wow! Yeah, okay. It did. Return to Java's Palace. That was pretty cool. I didn't expect that. And now, we got a Gamorrean Battle Axe, which is pretty cool. And we should now have access to the Throne Room, which we do. This is the back entrance. There are actually two entrances to the Throne Room. Whoops, it's not this way, is it? Oh yeah, it is this way. What's through that door? That's probably a dead end. Yep.
So here we are. You see that's where eventually Han Solo is hung on the wall, frozen in carbonite. And here we are in the throne room. We have Jabba over there. Just kind of chilling. Right here we have Boba Fett. I don't think we can actually talk to him yet. Oh yeah, we can. There's a rumor that the Death Watch operatives can be found on Endor, somewhere in the northwestern area of the planet. Anything else? You can tell me the Death Watch can be a formidable opponent and shouldn't be taken lightly. Be careful fighting against them. Sounds like you've dealt with them. Mind your business. The Hut wants this Death Watch and their leader dead before they cut into his business. My informants tell me they're cutting a deal with the Black Sun even as we speak. Alright, so actually that right there is a prerequisite for getting into the Death Watch bunker on Endor. So everything that we've done up to this point is actually something that at least one person in your group needs to do uh, in order to get into the Death Watch bunker. But that, that'll be a, another video entirely. Uh, for now, we're going to wrap this one up. Um, this should only take one more episode for us to, to finish, so stay tuned next week for the conclusion of Jabba's Palace. Now who's one? Thanks for watching.